Hello there man, have you been wondering on how you can add custom sound effects in CS 1.6 like this? Or maybe even like this? So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can add or even create your own custom like sound effect and then add it to CS 1.6. So for this tutorial, we're going to need a program and a custom sound effect that you desire to add in CS 1.6. So the program we're going to be using is Audacity. You can use other sound programs, but Audacity is more easier one for me and I recommend this to you as well. So the custom sound effect <laughs> is... No, so Get out! I, I cannot even make the sound, man. Fuck your mother! First of all, we are going to open Audio CD, the program. I'll leave link in description to install the program, like the link of the program itself. So now, when you when you have like downloaded and installed the program on your PC, now you're going to go to File, Open, then find your sound, or you can even just drag the sound in there. So, yeah. So now, it will show that pop up there, but don't even mind. So. As you can see, we're in here. I don't even know how to use this properly myself, but what I would do in here is just go click on here and then must, like right click and then I would do cut and then I would just drag this. I don't know, it might have been pointless thing for me to do, but yeah, just drag it to the beginning of the sound in here and then maybe, oh, I can close this as well. Very perfect. And you can hear the sound now. Oh, bad part. Yeah, you can kind of select in here. Ah, as I said, I don't know how to use this properly, but it's good. One more time. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, when you're done, like with the whole sound, now go on file and you go in export audio, and then you'll see up like this. So now in folder, you can choose where you want to save, like the sound effect format. Make sure. You you choose WAV, okay? Because with that it only works in 1.6. So now in channels, you select mono and then sample rate. You can select more on here, but I, I have heard that this one is the best for 1.6. It changed my mind though, but yeah. And in coding, make sure you select sign 16 bit PCM and export range. You can leave it like this and then you just click on export. And that was it for the first part. Now, you can just close this, you don't need this anymore. Now the second part is you just go on uh, like the file location of your Counter-Strike and then you just go through CS Strike, Sound and Weapons, which CS 1.6 like weapon sound effect are in here. So, uh, um, I want to switch with Deagle for example, yeah. Now you're just going to find like like the part when the weapon like fires the sound effect and that's it. For me I think this is the one. Very good. What about this one? Alright, so I can change to this though. So now what I would do is just rename this, copy the name of it and then just like yeah. Do this here, replace. And then the same goes for you since Deagle has like two same sound effects. And <laughs> pretty much it, let's go in 1.6 to test this out, man. So here we are in 1.6. And I wonder how does this work? Oh, okay, I completely forgot to buy the weapon. Alright, so here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, okay. Let, let me just raise the volume. Volume, okay. Wait. Okay, okay. <laughs> if somebody just came up with with this sound effect, bro. Like, get out, headshot. <laughs> like, headshot. <laughs> Uh, anyway, man, that's about it, bro. 